Hi everyone, my name is Victor, one of the authors of Technit.com. Today, I'll be talking about installation of Engine X on a Linux server. I'm going to be using a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and 8 as an example. So, what is Engine X? Um, Engine X is an open source web server. That's what Nginx is. If you want to learn more about Nginx, you can come to this website, technique.com. I'm going to be dropping the link as well in the comment section. So you can come and learn um, uh, a little bit more about what Nginx is. And um, you can see where Nginx has been used. The likes of um, WordPress, Apple, LinkedIn, Netflix, they are using this um, web server. So as such, you would know it's a very powerful web server. You can also come and learn what um, LAMP stack is and how to install LAMP stack. But the main purpose of this video is the installation steps of the Nginx server, which is the action time. So let's go ahead and install Nginx. Okay, let me confirm Okay, so this is um the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 server, it was 7 server. So we're going to be installing um, Nginx on this server. And there are some steps that you would need to carry out. You know, by default, this package Nginx is it's not among the packages that comes with the um, Red Hat repository. So you would need to add the repository file for Nginx so you can install the package from Nginx's website. So that's going to be the first step. So let's um, create the file, the extra repository file. So I'll just go ahead and copy the file. You can do that as well. I said I'm going to be dropping the link to this website in the comment section. So you can see that I've copied it and I'm going to paste it and go ahead and save it. So after saving it, the next step is to install the server. And in X, what's happening? Oh, server is season. Okay. So, this should install engine x for us so while the installation is going on i can just go ahead and pause and then we'll come back oh oh i guess it's um installing very fast okay so our installation is complete <laughs> so there's no need for me to pause the video so let's verify the status of the server. So the service is dead. We need to bring it up. So let's verify again. Okay, so we can see that Nginx is running now. So we need to um, follow some other processes because we need to test um, our server. So let's um, add the port 443 and port 80, which is associated with the web server. Port. 
0.043 and 80. Yeah, TCP protocol. Okay, so this part I already had it um, on my server, so that's why it's showing um, already enabled. So I can just go ahead and restart the firewall service. Okay, so now that we have the port enabled, Let's um, test our server. If you have e links, um, you can use e links to, to do your test. But if you don't have e links, you can install e links. So I already have e links on my server. If you want to install e links, just do your install e links. And then you would install your e links. So since I already have it on the server, we can just go ahead and and do our test. So I'm going to need the IP address of the server. Okay, so let's see if our installation was successful. Okay, yeah. So, so I, I already have it on, um, so you can see, okay. Okay, you can see, okay. Well, I'm supposed to see um, the e-links being displayed, the just like um, a, a small web interface. But I guess because I, I also have um, Apache running on my server. But we, we can also use another tool to do our test. We can use the call tool as well. So let us um, use the call tool and see if... Okay, so you can see the server, Nginx, and the version 1.16 already installed. So this is how you install Nginx on RHEL 7 server. But for, for RHEL 8, I think this is RHEL 8. Let me confirm that. So this is rel 8. So for rel 8, the package comes with the it comes by default with the rel repository. So if you do yum install and then X, so you don't need to add the extra um file in the repository directory for for a rel 8 system. So you can see that you can see that um it's fetching it from the app stream repository. So we already have it um, by default and um, we have version 1.14. So if you, if you want to, if you want a higher version, all you need to do is just to uh, do an update on the server and then you have the higher version. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. And um, if you also want to be an author of TechNeed, you can check our website and then um, you can send an email to info at So thank you once again. Yeah, bye for now.